looking back at the at the beginnings of the minimally invasive cervical spine surgery, um, it dates back to about 1997 when the original lumbar minimally invasive system was was introduced to the market and brought into the, into the field um, by a, a two doctors out of Memphis, Tennessee. Shortly after it was introduced, we'd been working with it and, and I came across an idea that that might allow us to do the same type of technique in the cervical spine. And after checking with them, they kind of said, you're crazy, don't do that, uh, but go ahead if you want to. And, and within three months of that, we were able to show that we could reproducibly get good results by using a, a slightly modified form of their original technique uh, on the neck and, and successfully treat cervical pinched nerves very easily and very quickly with an outpatient surgery procedure. The advent of the cervical MED or the microendoscopic discectomy has been successful enough as we've gone forward that it's gotten a lot of attention both within the United States and, and internationally uh, such that we have a frequent, I guess, stream of visiting doctors who will come by uh, some will be here for a day, some will spend uh, a week with us learning the techniques. Uh, others have come for uh, several months. We've had a couple of Chinese doctors who've stayed with us for a prolonged period of time uh, and have since taken the techniques back to China, which has been kind of interesting to see. Over the years since the late 1990s when we started minimally invasive spine surgery, we've had the opportunity to branch it out and continue to expand and come up with newer and newer technologies. Uh, not only focusing on decompression type surgeries or the very limited uh, minimally invasive surgeries, but now shifting gears into the more extensive and, and fusion type surgeries, uh, which traditionally were also only done with big scale surgery and now can be done very small one-inch incisions uh, and, and much shorter hospital stays.